my dear viewers welcome to this reading this coffee cup reading is for all libra and it's for august onwards a little bit over 2024 i hope you'll enjoy it i hope it supports you understand what is missing what are important factors for you to know what is um what is yet to come what is unexpected what is uh explanations for certain things that are happening in your life and and everything that we can imagine and what we can't imagine with a coffee cup it's endless your coffee cup is incredible it looks magnificent welcome my dear viewers welcome everyone whether you're libra or not if you have libra rising or so forth welcome to this reading it's quite intriguing your cup it looks amazing there's a lot of amazing changes that are tra taking place in your life and a lot of people are involved okay so what i'm going to do is um I, before i put my glasses on what I'd like to say is, I'd like to talk to you about, for those of you who are new to the channel or to the coffee cup, I want you to be aware that prior to this, uh, I do meditate and I do connect to a lot of guiding angels and the messages that come directly for Libra. I write them down on a piece of paper and then write them neatly on another one to deliver to you right at the end of this coffee cup. So be assured that this is going to be deliver to you the the messages and let us begin okay now i just need a little bit a little, little bit over here towards the light and we'll start with the beginning what am i seeing here wow mm, i see someone um i see an octopus actually <laughs> Let's see what is this octopus representing. They've got their hands all over, all over. They're holding on to a lot of things. There's a lot of things, a lot of situations, a lot of people. Okay, so the meaning of this is like it shows that you might, it might be uh, trying to hold on to a lot of things and a lot of people. You don't want it, and, and the fear of losing them. Maybe you are clinging a little bit too tight. Maybe you need to let go a little bit and just open your mind to detachment i know it doesn't sound right especially if you are like in the midst of um trying not to lose your business or your home or you know okay um, my dear libra it seems to me like there is a situation that requires you to to get rid of some things to um what's the word to minimize and you're holding on to everything. Like you don't want to let go of things. I want this and I do need this and I want that. But you've got to let go. You've got to let go. That's the first and main message here is to let go and let the energy flow. There is something in your life, an area of your life where it's something is ending. It's coming to an end. And it might be very difficult for you to accept. And of course, when things end or any situation that may end, uh, we find it hard to let go, let go of that person, let go of the, those things that belong to uh, memories or, you know, situations or gifts, and things that are new in, in your home and you want to sort of minimize to, to move to a better place. Like there could be that kind of a scenario. This is just an example. I do see you grieving the loss of something or someone. Um, and I see there are challenges without a doubt. So some of you... Uh, working a little bit over time, working afternoon shift or night shift. I see that possible also, some changes in your work hours. I'm seeing that stability will come. You might not be feeling stable now. You might be feeling unstable now. You don't know exactly where you're at, but that is changing. Some of you have a path to travel uh, over Earth. Like it's not airplane. I don't see anything over air. There may be a road trip or there might be a distance. A small distance where you're traveling or moving to also. Some of you are in the process of clearing, clearing. There's so much clearance to be done and moving to another place. There is a situation where somebody could be not quite honest with you, putting on a facade, deception. There is a deception. There's someone not very honest. You've got to really be careful. This person maybe is a bit jealous of you. They're maybe they're not jealous. Maybe they're envious of you. There could be envy here. Somebody is working. You know, I don't like saying these things, but I can see it so clearly. This big rat. Um, somebody is working against you behind your back. 
And maybe they're not being quite honest with you. Maybe you're feeling it, uh, my dear Libra. You might be feeling it. You might be feeling as though something isn't right. Um, but I do see that there are problems which you need to face ultimately and ultimately make decisions according to the truth. And not close your eyes to the truth. You know, sometimes Libra does that, closes their eyes to the truth. I'm a Libra myself, so <laughs> we've, I've got the right to say that. We do sometimes, especially when it comes to not wanting to hurt those we care about. But you've got to be very open and prepared. At least be prepared, if not, um, you know, if you don't want to take further action, just be prepared that and be aware of that there could be someone not being quite honest with you. And that is going to be, you are supported. I can see that. But still, ultimately, there is a major choice confronting you, and it's not easy. It's not easy, my dear Libra. It isn't easy. But it's the only way out. There's no other way. So running away from this decision is going to ultimately catch up and it is going to be difficult and it might be uh, like it might bring a lot of heartache in your life to actually make this decision to get yourself out of a, a situation but you are doing it and even though you're grieving that 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 leaving situation or leaving something you love or leaving the home you love or the area you love or the person you love whatever it may be it's happening to your benefit ultimately. You will know, you will see a major giant, giant blessing coming your way after this. So everything is destined and everything happens for a reason. Now, many of you um, could be meeting someone wonderful, someone with a wonderful soul, the beginning of love, the beginning of romance, ca coming right after this, after this situation. But there are decisions, important decisions to be made. Some of you could be leaving those you love or somebody that you really loved. Maybe because of uh, deception. That could be a possibility. And the point is, what the heavens are saying, according to what I'm seeing here, is not to give in to doubt and suspicion. Even though there are disappointments. What you need to do is deal with others and without expecting anything, no expectations, because that's the only way. Or your expectations have to be so real that you know that you come to terms with certain situations are not working. You have to come to terms with the reality. Within this year or within one year, I feel like there's going to be so many resources coming your way. I feel like you are going to be rising beyond where you are today and you, you will become much wiser you are you will see that there's something incredible an amazing uh, gift from the heavens coming your way within a year a year from now which is going, going to be around this time I also feel like something really big and major that's been overwhelming you is coming to an end you're healing from it. You're going through a lot of healing. And that something that I'm talking about looks to me like it's your past, my dear Libra. The past that you're leaving behind. Someone that brought you happiness or something. It could have been something like a house. Sometimes leaving your house is like leaving your home, your family, your baby. When you have had especially memories there. So it could be something that wonderful. Leaving the past behind you that you were so that brought you so much happiness. It's not going to be easy. You'll need to heal from this because you're, you're grieving the loss of that. That's what you're leaving behind. But you have no choice. You don't have many choices. It's like your hands are open. Like there's nothing I can do. It's like out of your hands. It's something that's destined and it was time for it to happen. And the outcome may not even seem fair. It might be unfair. But I feel like there's so many blessings that are going to come your way to heal your heart, to heal the wounds as you're leaving this something that you love. You were torn a long time ago. You were torn between whether you should stay or go. Finally, you're putting an end to this problem of, of being torn between two worlds, two places, two countries, two states, two people, two places, two homes. Finally, while, but while being patient and in torment, you're finally reaching to a resolution now this year. Now you want space. 
now you need more space and you are getting a lot of space now you are reaching to a level where you're comfortable you know what you want what your comfort zone is and you're aiming for it and i feel like many of you need your space from even toxic people in your life you know um, i feel like the truth is your eyes are open and you're seeing things clearly and you don't want to hold on to anything that's no longer working arguments with lovers marriage separations are possible incompatible lover you know i mean you can see everything now there's upheaval there's emotional upheaval somebody could be betraying you there it is again like there is some sort of betrayal and inflicting hurt on you but all this is you will, you will pass you will pass this and you will understand later and you will accept what went on and why you will understand why it all happened and you will see that was part of your destiny that you were supposed to rise so this all happened to get you to level you up to a better position in life you will have so many choices so many options you will be in awe amazed you have to choose wisely because there's so many glorious and I mean glorious, my dear Libra. Glorious opportunities coming your way. You need to really discipline your life because you'll be able to do so much and you've got so much freedom and so much abundance coming your way. You know, wishes even coming true to the point where you might want to risk things, where you where you might your judgment might be clouded because you're overwhelmed with all the abundance that's coming. Not to mention love, my dear Libra. Love will be all around you. You're surrounded with people that care about you, love you, that want to help help you, take care of you. Uh, simply acknowledging that truth is going to help you uh, put your ideas and your thoughts and concepts into life and bringing them to life. So many gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful transformations are taking place. Transformations that will uplift you to levels beyond where you are today. November, December, both are next to each other something big happening especially those liberals that have fire energy there's fire energy here very strong it could be you who have fire energy uh, within you but it can also be uh, someone very supportive someone extremely supportive now the fire energy uh, also is connected to sagittarius because i'm seeing the archer here um fire energy is also leo or aries but i'm seeing the sagittarius here very strong I'm also connecting it to November. We've got November and December. So it shows Sagittarius big time. Someone wonderful, someone incredible is going to impact your life on a grand scale. And that person might have strong Sagittarius in them. November is another factor. November itself and going into December, it's going to be just so many blessings will be pouring in. You will be amazed and shocked at what's coming. You will find out how strong you are, how magnificent you are. You will know how powerful you are. You can choose and do anything. Success is going to be all over the place for you in every area of your life. You'll be celebrating all that you have achieved and how much you have done. You will, you will, you truly deserve an, a reward, and I think you'll be getting that reward. Your journey is not complete yet. You're in the process of doing something. Very soon it comes to an end and then a new beginning begins. And this new beginning is just going to be tremendous. There's so much prosperity coming to you. So much money. So much success. So many material possessions like buying. Buying so much. You're buying a property. Trust your instinct when you're feeling it, Libra. You must know there is... I also feel like there's help coming. Could be coming from family. Some of you could be coming from from heavens, luck. Perseverance is going to overcome this problem that you have, which is to do with a lot of things that you need to unload uh, from your life, from your home, from your heart. You are going to go through some sort of physical or emotional ascension. I see that. You're, you're ascending. You're, you're transcending. You need space to rest. You want to rest. You're releasing old energy completely and utterly and moving forward. I see a major completion. I see your hands in the air and, and like absolutely so happy. There's news. There's travel. There's movement. There's a message for you, a special message coming. 
you've got the you know you've got the go ahead to be able to go you're waiting for something it's like you're waiting for something i think a large sum of money might be the way to help you uh, establish somewhere else if you're going somewhere else where you need to buy bigger or you might to be buy somewhere where it might be more expensive than where you are or if you're moving you're moving ahead without a doubt you're full speed ahead nothing will stop you there's so much progress there's so much abundance and there is so much cap capacity you will be at capacity to buy better and more stronger and more um, expensive than where you are, believe it or not. You are strong beyond measure. You're stepping into your power and this is taking you to the next level. Now, the next level is shown here that it is. It's a beautiful new beginning. An incredible truth open you, opens your eyes to a beautiful new beginning. An incredible rebirth. An incredible you know, if somebody's done the wrong thing by you, you are going to be shocked at uh, the karma, how it will show you if somebody's done the wrong thing by you. And um, I do feel very strong that there's going to be forgiveness. You will forgive when you are asked for forgiveness. You are going to forgive this person, whoever's done the wrong thing by you. I do feel like there's going to be a new lease of life. I feel like you're walking in wonder, happy, ecstatic, Knowing that you in so much gratitude and knowing that you are in grace, knowing that you are protected, your faith is going to skyrocket. It's like you will know that all the gratitude, all the expansion in your life, just due to your faith and your connection to the heavens and your guiding angels watching over you and protecting you. Like a beautiful butterfly, I see you like metamorphosis, transforming, changing, evolving. Your soul is evolving. I think you've got more time. You've got time to get to know yourself, maybe to meditate or to relax or maybe more to meditate. I feel like med med um, you haven't been able to meditate. Maybe you were overwhelmed with so much work and so many responsibilities. But I'm seeing evolution of your soul and that is magnificent. We see a evolution of li people's life transforming. But now I'm seeing your soul is is evolving, rising up inspired you are going to be embracing this change and loving it i see the letter a here i don't know whether it's in the uh, in this section here or not but i'm seeing the letter a very strong and i'm seeing number four i'm also seeing the letter t and the letter e here t for thailand tiger e for eggs and a for antarctica there's a very loving relationship between you and someone this is like a parent it's a very nurturing loving relationship um, and it doesn't mean that it's a parent-child situation, but it could be like that. Very, very um, loving, nurturing relationship. And uh, this is a situation where you you feel like um, you, you can use your leadership ability to... You do. You already do. Sorry, just bear with me, my dear. Ouch. Sorry about that. My foot <laughs> went numb because I had my, I had, I had my legs crossed. <laughs> That was very painful. Okay. Um, what was I saying here? Oh, yes. Um, this ability, this leadership ability helps you take care of this person. They take care of you. This It's like a, it's a very wonderful relationship. Like I said, nurturing relationship. This gives you the power also. You are empowered to do what you want to do, to be able to move the way you want to. Then this person supports you and helps you also. I do see a lot of prosperity. In fact, it's overwhelming prosperity. You are nurtured. You might be even considering careers in nurturing and helping others, taking care of business. Some of you could be thinking of taking care of, taking care of business or taking care of uh, someone who's like that nurturing relationship that I was talking about. You're coming into union with someone and it's going to be spectacular. November, again, November. There's a fire starting. And again, fire, which is Sagittarius. How incredible. How many times are they going to tell me Sagittarius in different ways? Look at that. Wow, strong emotions, passion, um, and 11, November. So for those of you who've been seeing 11, 11, that's what this is. I think this person's got a lot of Sagittarius in them. I see freedom. Freedom is going to be yours. I see you heal. And in the process of healing, you are going to get your freedom. Somebody's really scared that they might lose you. By the time they get ready to be with you, and they might end up losing you. That, that could be. 
someone that you might have been separated from or just taking time out from each other. The only real thing in life, uh, what is the most important thing, the only thing that really matters and is real, it's love. So you have to go back to doing what you love, my dear Libra. Whatever you do love doing or being with, put your intention into that. Somebody is, oh wow, somebody is truly in love with you, absolutely in love with you. And I feel like because of this person's love, you are going to heal. Now, my dear Libra, I'm seeing very strong um, air energy here, Aquarius being number one, and then Gemini. But you know what the most amazing thing is, my dear Libra? There is someone incredible. I see one, two, three, three Libra mingled with four Taurus. So Taurus Libra. Taurus Libra, they might have Sag in them. They could have Sag in them. But I'm saying Taurus Libra here, somebody that has Taurus Libra, very strong. Why I'm saying Sag? Because November keeps showing and the fire energy of someone keeps showing. That's why. But I'm seeing Taurus Libra entwined so it's someone that has uh, lately i've been seeing this very much which is really shocking taurus with libra uh, very much very much so very strong energy here there are other earth energies there's a little bit of uh, virgo there's capricorn but the taurus was more and stronger all over the place so i just put this one over here we'll go through it later. it's in my way so as i was saying yes and there is water energy here too but the strongest was Taurus Libra. Then I'm seeing water energy very strong. There's Scorpio. There is, oh wow, four crabs, four Cancer, very strong Cancer. And there is two Pisces. So the Cancer being the strongest here and three Scorpio. So you might be dealing with someone around August with August a little bit over with a lot of water energy. Or this person that might be coming in your life might be water energy. There is a little bit of fire energy. Sagittarius is there, strong Sagittarius. And then there is Aries and Leo, but Sagittarius is there very strong. I'm also seeing Chinese year of the horse here, very strong horse. Yes, there's a lot of horses here. Wow, four horses. Chinese year of the horse, big time. The horse is also about freedom. I'm seeing the Chinese year of the cat rabbit here, very strong. If it's you who's the horse or the, or the cat or the rabbit or the person you're dealing with, they're there and they're very strong. I'm also seeing the Chinese year of the snake here. One, two, three snakes. Chinese year of the snake. I'm seeing the dragon and the dragon and the snake. They do go exceptionally well together. I'm seeing the monkey and the rooster. There's a few monkeys, a few roosters. Chinese year of the monkey and the rooster, they go together well. And I'm seeing the pig, Chinese year of the pig. And the pig goes exceptionally well with the monkey. Because I'm seeing the monkey there also. Chinese year of the monkey and then the tiger. Tiger is there very strong. The tiger goes beautifully with the rooster. There's a rooster there, a few roosters and the dog, Chinese year of the dog. So that tells me that, wow, there's so many of them. But there could be other yourself, the people you're dealing with on a high level or meeting. You can have a look at your general reading under your sign, Libra, and you'll know exactly the star sign combination of the person that you're dealing with on a high level in, in, in August and onwards, or who's coming in your life and that way in your life, and that way you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Now, glasses off, I don't need them. And we move on to the next level. Now. Let's see what the heavens have said. The future. Something about friendship. Maybe some wonderful friendship is forming with someone and it could be forming with that Taurus Libra. Remember that. Or Sagittarius. So we've got Sagittarius, we've got fire energy, we got strong Sagittarius, we've got strong Taurus with Libra. Remember that. Strong Libra with Taurus. So just bear with me one moment. A little bit of water and I'll continue on. So in the near future, a gorgeous, glorious, incredible friendship is forming between you and someone. And there is that could be connected to a ring and weds. Have a look. We've got future friendship. Then I was told a ring and weds. So there is there could be you being proposed to getting a ring and getting married. It could be that you'll be forming this friendship in the midst of Somebody that's getting married, they've been given a ring and they're about to get married and you're on the wedding and meet some, meeting someone incredible. Somebody wants to impress you, that's for sure. They, they are going to go out of their way to impress you. There's great news, very interesting news coming to you very quickly. 
Aquarius. Oh my goodness, Aquarius is here. Aquarius, something about Aquarius. We had three Aquarius here. So Aquarius, very strong. Um, my dear Libra. They might have Aquarius. That, that Sagittarius that might come in your life, or that Taurus, Libra, they might have Aquarius in them. Or they might be born under the sun sign of the Aquarius. There are situations with skin blemishes. If those of you who are experiencing that, always look into castor oil or some sort of natural remedy. Skin blemishes. Something about a fairy, and the fairy is the journey of life, traveling, going somewhere. Some of you could be traveling by water. Some of you could be traveling by land. Um, great success is coming. You are going to take action when this great success comes your way. You'll be able to do so much. It says May. Remember I said Taurus. Now Taurus are usually born in May. There's also Gemini are born in May. But Taurus was in your cup big time. Um, and something about May, so you know. I am. Something about ego maybe. Or perhaps uh, reaching a certain level of enlightenment and your vibrations are heightened. Where you are in connection with your higher self. Your higher self's name is I am. Just so you know, your higher self, your intuition's name is I am. Okay, and sad, being sad. Maybe you're sad for someone that is born in May, like Taurus or Gemini. Or maybe when you come to terms with a lot of truth and you vibrate to high levels of meditation, where you get in touch with your higher self, you might be feeling the release of sadness. The release of something that you were um, feeling sad about. Now, um, don't forget, interesting news are coming. Now I'm going to go through all the letters. And I was given a lot of initials, a lot of them. Twice I was given the letter F for France or Frog. Twice I was given the letter Y for Yellow or Yes. Twice I was given the letter G for Georgia or Greece or Green. Um, twice I was given the letter U for Umbrella or Upper, Under or Upper. Um, I was given then once the letter T for Tiger, Z for Zulu, for Zoo, um, Z, K for Kilo, Koala, C for Charlie, Canada, N for Norway, No, S for Sweet, Scorpio, H for Horse and Honey, V for Victory, and P for Pony and Penny. I was given four, this is the shocking part. Shocking. When I got this, I was shocked because I hardly ever get something like this. I was given four times, not once, but four times, the number five. And guess what the number five is connected to? The dragon. Chinese year of the dragon, which we had three dragons in your reading, but also the dragon is the soulmate, of course, of um, uh, the dragon is the soulmate of the pig. And we had the pig there and it's very soulmate of the snake at the same time but what i wanted to say about the dragon is this year 2024 is the year of the dragon this year is going to impact your life on a grand scale on a very big grand scale my dear libra not to mention it will bring you changes that are ground changing ground moving changes this year but you know what this is all to uplift you and get you ready for next year to get you settled, to get you healed, to get you to in the best place to be. Changes that are profound. As I saw that when I saw your reading, like I was just shocked. Just shocked at the changes that are taking place. It's just incredible. So from now up to five months, changes and changes, profound changes that will uplift you and change your life for a long, long time. And that's the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't it doesn't cost a thing everything i do is free just a click of a button where it says subscribe that's all and don't forget also to please see the videos all the way to the end and support me that's all i ask for i wish you all the love and light in everything you do namaste